Greetings to everyone who is watching today as this is the occasion of World Camel Day. It is celebrated on June the 22nd every year now. And this is the run up of the week of World Camel Day. So there are many, many things happening and this little chat will be part of it. So I'm Christina Adams. I'm the author of the book, Camel Crazy, A Quest for Miracles and the Mysterious World of Camels. And I have been writing and lecturing and researching about camel milk since the, uh, the year 2007. And uh, my son got much better from his autism symptoms on camel milk. So ever since then, I uh, read and write and lecture about the milk. And in my journeys, I have met many amazing people. And one of them is here with us today, Dr. Razik. He is um, actually the founder of World Camel Day. So it is very auspicious to talk with him today. Um, Dr. Razik, actually, um, we have met each other several times and he's actually in Camel Crazy. He is a wonderful part of the book uh, because his knowledge extends not only to camels, but to the natural world. And it is very important that things like World Camel Day can increase our overall appreciation of the natural world through the lens of camels, which brings us to so much of the importance of nature in our world. So today um, we're gonna talk with Dr. Razik. He is uh, currently um, the technical director, I believe, of the farm management at uh, Alain Dairies in um, Alain Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. So I have a few questions for him, but welcome, Dr. Razik. Can you just tell us a little about your title and what you're doing these days? Uh, thank you very much, Christina. Thanks for uh, all the colleagues, the friends, especially you for appreciation, for all the support uh, we have for uh, uh, this uh, World Camel Day and other camel uh, celebrations. I am Dr. Razik. My family name is Kakar. So people call me Dr. Razik Kakar. I am basically from uh, Northern Baluchistan. I have been working with the camels uh, since my childhood and uh, um, practically I am working since last 20 years with the camels. So I introduced camel, uh, World Camel Day in 2009, uh, just to tell the people, the, to, to, to aware the people about the importance of this precious uh, animal. So- Absolutely. Yes. So when you were growing up, I assume there were a lot of animals in your life in this uh, part of Pakistan. What were the most common animals then and were there camels? Yeah, when uh, I was a child, uh, I have been uh, grazing sheep. We had our she sheep flock and uh, then when, when I uh, little bit grew up, we had uh, our cows. I was used to graze my cows as well. And uh, later on, we uh, had a uh, goat's flock. Uh, uh, almost uh, uh, 10 years before we finished our boat uh, flood. So I have the, I mean, I have been living with the camels, uh, with the with the goats, with the sheep, with the cattle, with the chickens. So I am uh, basically from a, a semi-pastoralist com community and farming community. And uh, that time we had camels with the nomadic people, those, the, the Afghan Kuchis. They were coming to my areas and they were passing through our areas. We were looking at their beautiful caravans, their, the nomads, they are traveling with their camels. So in 2004, I uh, took interest in the camel. So since 2004, I am behind the camel. Yes, well, that's great. And um, actually for those who are listening, uh, you and I have been in touch for a long time. So I actually knew you first when you were back in, in that, that country. And so it's been very exciting to see uh, things develop and, and uh, you're in the position to share this knowledge. So I know that you have an amazing background with experience of camel milk yourself medicinally. Uh, you took the milk, as I say, and um, when I interviewed you for Camel Crazy, you took the milk when you were stricken with a really severe form of arthritis as an adult, and it changed your life. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was uh, uh, caught by very severe uh, arthritis, uh, like uh, very severe arthritis. I could not even move. Uh, from uh, bed to the washroom. Believe me, I was in very difficult situation. I was put on a very high antibiotics on many um, uh, drugs, um, uh, chemicals by the doctors, uh, steroids, uh, these things, painkillers, a lot of medicine, but I could not recover very well. 